I want to tell you one more thing I know about the Negro. When I when I go went uh, go through Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, <coughs> and I would see these little government houses. And in front of that government house, the the door was usually open, and the the, the older people and the kids, and there's always at least a half a dozen people sitting on the porch. They didn't have nothing to do. They didn't have nothing for their kids to do. They didn't have nothing for their young girls to do. And because they were basically on government subsidy, and so now what do they do? They abort their their young children. They put their young men in jail because they never they never learned how to pick cotton. And I've often wondered, oh, are they better off as slaves picking cotton, having family life and doing things, or are they better off under government subsidy? They just transfer. They, they, they just transfer them. Yeah, they didn't get no more freedom. They got less freedom. So now you've got a case where Clive and Bundy, in an interview, was first broke in the New York Times. It is his comments are beyond repugnant to me. They are beyond despicable to me. They are beyond ignorant to me. Because our African-American communities are absolutely in the worst shape that they've ever been in before, ever, ever, ever. You take a look at the inner cities, you get no education, you get no jobs, you get shot walking down the street. 